A one-year-old baby girl from Brooklyn, her name Ella Vitalis, was tragically pronounced dead on September the 20th whilst at hospital, five days after her parents, Lafayette Brown, 29 years of age, and Johnson Vitalis, 28 years of age, called 911 claiming that she'd choke whilst her father was feeding her. Wasn't their fault according to them in the first instance. But let's look at the backstory. The backstory tells us that at the age of three weeks old, Ella Vitalis was taken to hospital, at which point it was identified that she had broken ankles, plural, a fractured skull and a brain hemorrhage again aged three weeks old at which point the scumbag abusive parents lost custody of her until around three months ago when some fuckwit judge appointed by de blasio his name judge eric pitchell decided you know what i'm gonna return this girl this baby to her abusive parents sure they hospitalized her when she was three weeks old sure she had broken ankles at that point sure she had a fractured skull and a brain brain hemorrhage aged three at the hands of her scumbag piece of shit Brooklyn parents yeah let's hand her back to them let's give them back custody what a fucking arsehole and he's still got a job as far as I know again judge Eric Pitchell I can tell you now I'm not a fan incompetent enough to return a baby girl to her abusive parents and she subsequently dies three months later so again Ella Vitalis was taken to hospital September the 15th she had blunt force injuries on her head bruising and cut on her forehead she also had swollen eyes bite marks and she appeared to have a broken jaw this is at the age of one taken to hospital because according to her parents she choked whilst her father was feeding her but the doctors identified "Mm, maybe that's not the entire truth abusive parents maybe you're not telling us the full story given that she has blunt force injuries on her head bruising and cuts on her forehead and swollen eyes a broken jaw and bite marks what the f is going on well according to the mother Lafayette Brown she says oh it's only because Ella was drinking too much milk that's what caused all of these injuries she was drinking too much milk not our fault so you think by now the parents would have been charged with murder or such no 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 that hasn't happened not yet at least the child's death is being investigated as a homicide she was in the custody of her parents but no charges have been laid against the parents as yet what the fuck are you playing at NYPD the article tells us about other incidences of abuse that both Ella and her brother faced. These are documented, yet the judge still saw fit to return Ella to her abusive parents. When Ella was taken to hospital, she was on life support for five days, and then tragically she was pronounced dead. She suffered from a brain bleed from a fractured skull. So, what do you reckon the judge has got to say about this? Well, we don't know, because the organization that he works for, the Brooklyn Family Court, has decided not to respond to requests quest for comments from the journalists concerned from the Daily Mail. They don't really want to discuss this topic. Shouldn't they be forced to discuss this topic? Isn't this topic of public interest? Isn't it of public interest to know that a Brooklyn judge, Eric Pitchell, sees fit to return children back to known abusive parents? Not just parents that smack their children on the bottom every now and then, which in my mind is not the right thing to do. Abuse is my take on that. Not everyone agrees with that. But no, he returned Ella Vitalis to her sick, twisted, psychotic CUNT parents who had already hospitalized her at the age of three weeks old with broken ankles, a fractured skull, and a brain hemorrhage. You absolute twat, you absolute arsehole, you incompetent buffoon, you sick, evil, twisted fuck, Judge Eric Pitchell. You should not be in office. I bet he's paid a handsome sum too. Not that that's necessarily the point. It just rubs salt into the wound, if you ask me. This guy needs to be removed. This guy needs to be investigated. He needs to make a public apology, as does the organization that he works for, if I have that right. The organization is the Brooklyn Family Court. And by the way, another organization also failed to respond to the journalist's request for more information, for more comments, and that is the New York City Administration of Child Services. Both of these organizations are too important to justify why Judge Eric Pitchell saw fit to return one-year-old Ella Vitalis to her scumbag abusive parents who seemingly continue to abuse her. Again, no charges have been laid at this point. I hope and pray that will change. I presume it has to. The the investigation is being treated as a homicide. As far as I understand, she was in the care of her parents at the time. So, you know, this doesn't really seem to be a hard case to crack NYPD. Forgive me for being so bold to suggest such a thing. So come on, hurry up, lay charges, bang them away, give them an excessively high bond, an unachievable
unbelievably high bond. You don't need these scumbags on the streets. You do need the other children. We know that there's a boy. We need that other child or children to be put in the hands of child protective services given the love, care and support that they require. And you guys need to remove this guy from office. Judge Eric Pitchell needs to go. I'm going to wrap things up at this point. If you appreciate the coverage, please do like, comment, subscribe, share the video as you see fit. If you're in a position to consider joining my memberships, please do. If you're able to drop a super thanks, that would be wonderful. But it's fine if you're not able to do that. I'll thank you for your time. Take care.